Let us pray. Lord God, O Son of us, in the sacrament of his body, food for the journey, mercifully grant that strengthened by you, our sister Mary may come to the eternal table of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. It's wonderful to see you all here to remember the life of our mother, Mary Colleen Zamolek. Your effort to be here is particularly touching, considering the current public health concerns. Our mother's life deserves a beautiful celebration, and she would be so happy and honored to see all of your faces here today. We find ourselves in a difficult position, having to eulogize our mother, who was taken from us too soon. Though we have plenty of time to prepare, it's still difficult to process. This has been a long journey, but when Mom died, it happened quickly and peacefully. Mom had a knack for eulogies, and if she had written this, it would make you laugh, cry, and remember her in her best light. But here goes nothing. Mary Kathleen McKenzie was born on January 22nd. 1958 to John and Marilyn McKenzie, the fifth of eight children. Mom always described herself as one of the little girls in reference to her family. Despite the childhood pictures of the McKenzie family in matching outfits, lined up shortest to tallest, with our mom smack dab in the middle, it's hard for us to picture her as anything other than the mother hen the Being a McKenzie was a huge part of Rob's identity. She loved everything about it. All of the people, all of the traditions, all of the noise, all the words. She never missed an opportunity to incorporate the family tartan into her decor, outfit, gift wrap, you name it. We'd receive an urgent group text every time J. Crew featured pajama pants in a McKenzie clap. But her absolute favorite part of being a McKenzie was being the daughter of John and Mary. Grandma Mac was without a doubt her idol and the person she modeled her life after. What Grandma taught Mom about being a wife and a mother were lessons that Mom made a point to pass on to us. Our mother had a steadfast and unwavering view of marriage. You show up to your spouse no matter what. Our parents exemplified this every day for 38 years. They were always a united front. when it came to parenting, and together they worked hard to build a solid foundation for their family. That's not to say there wasn't plenty of fun along the way. We took countless trips to the cottage, enjoyed family ski trips, and cheered on the Irish with four main tailgates by mom. Ultimately, our parents found their little slice of paradise in the grill Jamaica. Our mom insisted they kick off each trip by drinking a yellow bird with their toes in the sand. If we're being honest, nobody particularly liked that drink, but a tradition is a tradition. Mom was Grandpa Mac's little girl. She absolutely ate up every moment she spent with her dad and took every one of his words to heart. She got her sense of humor from Grandpa. She loved the twinkle in his eye and inherited his gift of gift. She told us when she was growing up that Grandpa Mac would say, Mary's gonna go to Marquette and become our nurse. So of course that's exactly what she did, and turns out Grandpa Mac was right. Marquette was the perfect place for her. Our mom loved college, and we have the pictures to prove it. Marquette is where mom developed her for Todd Wendland, Dan Wolverine, Soda, juicy fruit, juicy fruit Gum, and Cigarettes. Mom had a tight group of friends. Their unofficial thing to think was their rejects party. 
None of them got dates to a Marquette dance, and they threw themselves a pity party, which soon became a rager. Attendance was impressive. The party was getting so much buzz that the university asked them not to hold it the next year. It was becoming more popular than the dance. That's what you get when you go up against Mary McKenzie. From saving seats at Summerfest to poaching beers from the back bar of the gym, or singing karaoke into a pretzel rod, not made the most of every opportunity to enjoy college. And these are just the stories we know about. Mom always wanted to be a mother, and it was the role she was born to play. She was a mother in every sense of the word and to everyone she encountered. She loved us with every ounce of her being and showed us that daily. We had the best time growing up. Mom always knew where the bookmobile was. She never missed an opportunity for a deli bar. And the shopping. Oh, the shopping. The woman knew how to find a dress. Be it homecoming prom or a cousin's wedding, if you needed shoes, Mom would have three pairs to choose from the next day. No outfit was complete until she had given her stamp of approval. And no one enjoyed the final product more than Mom. Especially because she always got at least 25% off. For her, Black Friday was an Olympic sport, and Mom was in training year-round. She'd have a stack of mailers to plan our attack, making sure we hit the best sales and didn't miss a free gift. She was laser-focused. We got in, we got out. We always left with our arms full. A great parking spot guaranteed a victory. And it was our tradition to then meet Dad at the chalice, recount our mission, and tell him how much money we had saved him. <laughs> All while sipping a bourbon old-fashioned press with two olives in the old glass. As often as was possible, we were with our cousins, our grandparents, our family, and friends. She made each holiday and celebration memorable. She would think of special touches no one else would, and these are the things we remember most. Pouring through cookbooks to come up with the perfect menu. Making her own flower arrangements. Finding the perfect glass for whatever cocktail we were drinking. If the devil is in the details, then our mother found him every time. One holiday, however, will always stand out. Our mother embodied Thanksgiving. She posted, she toasted, she planned her outfit to match her apron. She set the table days in advance, planned which dish to serve each course in. She knew how to make the perfect turkey and remembered everyone's favorites. She made everything you'd ever want to eat, and even some things you never would. Tomato aspect, anyone? <laughs> Her pies rivaled those of Martha Stewart. Everyone was fed, everyone had a drink, or two, or three. And everyone was happy. All of that attention and consideration was the way Mom showed her love. What we'll remember most was the warmth we felt in the home she created. It's a testament to the traditions she built that as her disease progressed and she was no longer able to host in the manner she was accustomed, family and friends rose to the occasion and brought the party to her. Mom and Dad's new house provided the perfect venue for these occasions, which included not one, but two 60th birthday slumber parties. Thursdays were, of course, always reserved for her grandchildren. Perhaps the, greatest tra tra perhaps the greatest tragedy is that mom was robbed of being the baby she wanted to be. Even so, she spoiled these kids robbing with gifts from Padre Mimi to mark each holiday as was her tradition. On one memorable occasion, Mimi gave Claire an Elsa dress from her favorite movie, Frozen. Claire immediately put it on and reenacted her favorite scene, hand gestures and all. Mom hadn't forgotten the crown, gloves, or high heels, and just like that, Mary's love for accessories was passed down to the next generation. These moments were bittersweet for Mom, but for our kids, they were pure joy. Our children loved their baby. Mom always wanted her house to feel like home. She worked hard to be able to give that to us, even after her diagnosis. She accomplished, accomplished this with the invaluable help of her network of family and caregivers. We are indebted to each and every one of you for the exemplary care she received up to and beyond her final breath. There is no greater service you could have done to us as to lovers than caring for our mother in such a loving, tender manner. 
and what our Father was able to do for her over the past few years, and especially the last few months, was truly remarkable. You gave our mom her final wish. Welcoming the sunset. 